This is the Sonatina by Heinrich Lichtner. Okay, let's talk about the etude a little bit. Marked at Allegro Moderato. The top edge of Allegro is 128, so I'm taking it about 128 to 132-ish, somewhere in there. I think it feels pretty good somewhere in the 128 to 136 range. Uh, is piano through most of the length, so don't overplay the piece. Um, make sure you make a difference between legato notes, where the strokes are relaxed and flowing, and then the staccato note so that we get a little bit of change of sound in there, and make sure the rolls, especially the rolls that are tied to release notes, are smooth. Right, we don't want... And don't accent the beginning of rolls that are not accented. Um, we have a wrong note in measure four. The third eighth note should be a G. sharp there so there should be G F sharp G A G and then we have a little bit of direction in measure 7 as we go up the uh, C major scale starting from G and then we go back down to piano with dolce which means to play it sweetly even though it's staccato and it's got a crescendo still play it lyrically then this sequence of eighth notes I'm starting on my right hand That brings me to the C nicely. Then for these sequence for these little sequences of three notes, I'm doing them right, right, left. And that allows me to give a little bit of emphasis to those chord tones as, as we cadence there. Then we go into the B section of the piece. Remember, don't take any of the repeats, just play straight down the page. Same idea, but a little lower register, so there will be a little bit more lyrical sound. Lyrical quarter notes, and then legato quarter notes, and then staccato no quarter notes. You can add a little bit of a crescendo there to lead into that long note, that's no problem. Uh, D and G, then G sharp, then uh, then resolving on the A major uh, six chord there. Now this figure is the same as it is in the A part, but this time it's at mezzo forte, not at piano. That's a little bit of a strange figure going into the uh, going into the recap there. Starts on G and goes right down the scale to B flat. 
little bit strange for your ear, but as you practice it, you'll uh, it'll become more familiar. Uh, so pickups to 29 again. Retard and decrescendo, so that B flat can be a pretty small note. And then we basically have a recap of the beginning. G is written correctly this time. Then I'm starting this upward scale from, uh, from C, starting with my right hand, but notice that you have a doubled note on the F. Then I'm starting the G scale down with my left hand. And then same thing, right, right, left, right, right, left for the cadence. Uh, so I'll start from the pickup to 37. Notice here the left hand is just playing three, two, one. Ah, it's like we've, it's basically how we've finished the piece. Now we have the coda. I find it easier uh, after rolling the F to hit the next three quarter notes with my right hand instead of my left. It's kind of a little strange, and I'm not sure why I do that, but that seems much more comfortable to me. Same thing with the E. All that was at piano, then you go down to pianissimo for the last two notes, play them very warm and long. try to get the longest sounds you can on the keyboard. All right, I'll try to run through it one more time. <laughs> 